to buy yourself some water before you start climbing the stairs up to the Batu Caves. Not that busy as it was the last time we were here. Unless there's still lots of people, it's still pretty early, it's 20 to 12. Because many people will come in again after lunch. It looks like some of the stores have not even been set up yet. Zoom in a bit closer and have a look at this Hindi God limestone mountains are quite beautiful and fascinating. It does look like there's an entrance fee. Apparently smoking in public places from 1st of January 2019 is prohibited. We're seeing many many places where you're not allowed to smoke. So remember that smokers. Be aware where you smoke, you can get some very high fines if you break the rules. This is the Ramayana cave. See what it costs to get in. There's a ticket office. I'll ring it. Thank you. Got a whole lot of camera here. Was to find some money. That looks lovely. So five ringgits per person. What's the children's price? Two ringgits fifty cents. Two ringgits fifty cents and two ringgits fifty cents Thank for you. children to get in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's quite windy here. Watch out for the monkeys, Maro. Snatch your bag before you know it. Not that I've seen any monkeys yet. Oh, it's windy, isn't it? As we walked in the entrance, the little bit of cloud cover came and the wind picked up. Hopefully that's not affecting the sound too much in the video. It's quite impressive already the entrance. Looking forward to going into this cave. As Mara was mentioning, she doesn't mind the wind at all. It does give a little bit of a yeah. cooler yeah, air around us. Yeah. Wondering what material these horses are made from. They're quite impressive. There's two entrances. One probably an exit, an entrance and an exit to the caves. We need a selfie here. definitely need a selfie here. Mm -hmm. Nice to see the sun came out so we can actually see these figures in their colorful glory. They really are quite impressive. So here we go into the cave. See a lot of Hindi figures. I'm sure it's the Hindi history, the history of the gods. Look at the cave walls. It's a real cave, and by that I mean experiencing a real cave like you see in the movies. Sometimes a cave is just like an overhang. This is a real deal where we're going inside. Look at this. Pity about the graffiti on the walls. The water here. Let's take over. And the rock formations there. Very well lit cave. Quite a cabin this one. It's big, isn't it? Gonna walk you through in here. You can see all the figures. Mauro's gotta be capturing the photos. It's quite something. It's not written in English, so I can't exactly tell you what all this represents. But it's very interesting to see anyway. A lot of colors in, in the building. In the building, sorry, in, in the cave. There must all be stories, don't you think so, Marla? There we go, there's some English. It interrupted the ritual of Raman and Laxman destroying the demons for guy, which interrupted the arrival of Vishwamitra. Oh, 
pronunciation. As you all know, language is not my thing. Before we begin walking forward again, I just want to look behind me, show you the size of this cavern we're actually walking in. Look at it, it's huge. In just a second, I'm going to pull out my mobile phone also. I'm going to send you a, make a little video for our Instagram videos, our Facebook videos, where we'll present the Batu Caves. To those of you who watch our Facebook and Instagram, we send you a little greeting and ask you to watch our video when it comes out here on YouTube. Hello to all of you out there. Greetings from Kuala Lumpur, where we are at the Batu Caves today. Very colorful Batu Caves. We're in one of the cabins here. It's not the main Batu Caves. Let's look at the way the cave opens up here as we go up these stairs. And up the stairs we go. Very lit up with the luminous lights, neon lights. These are fascinating figures. They are very fascinating, very worthwhile to visit. As I said, it costs five ringgits per adult and two and a half ringgits per child, so the price is reasonable. And look at this cabin now. This is fascinating. I hope we can sort of capture this on video and and photo. So just oh, there goes a, oh, it's a pigeon. I thought it was a bat. Again, looking back on the top of the stairs into the cavern we came up from. Just up here, it looks like a doorway to a stairway. Wonder where those stairs will lead us. Yeah, that'll be awesome. They've really done a good job of doing this cavern. I'm not sure of what word one uses to describe the must be the stories of the Hindi religion. If you know, please write down in the comments below what you call this. Are they stories or fables or or what? And we hope to take those stairs. It looks like we're gonna zigzag all the way up to the top. There's stairs going all the way up there. Maro's just about to make her way up first. One small step for Maro kind. I'll film our walk up. Up we go. Not the first steps we're going to be doing today. Look at the walls here. This is a huge cave. have to point the camera up towards the, the ceiling or the loft of the cave every now and again just to show you. There's a big pigeon behind you, Maro. A big pigeon up on the rock. Look at this. We're both saying we regret we didn't come here last time. We ran out of time. We oh, took one of the... Blue for us this time. Yes. Well, I'll stay there for a while. I've been ordered to stay here for a while, which I do. How's the echo on my voice? Everybody must hear me, it's like a cathedral in here. So we just took some selfies over here. And as Maro just said, you don't get many wow effects at our age here in life. But uh, this cavern and the size of it really is a wow effect. We're both pretty much wild and amazed. This is an amazing cave. Don't forget to, to uh, visit this cave also when you're on Kuala Lumpur. We missed it last time and I uh, can see we really missed out. Yeah. Let's continue up the stairway. As before, I'm going to take you on the, the entire walk up so you can see what it is. And those of you who are afraid of heights, you might be a little bit afraid. Whoa, it goes pretty steep here. Don't fall over the edge, Marta, when we go. <laughs> Look at the stairs, how they go Ooh. up. Hold on to the railing all the way. And my turn to go up. What we do for our YouTube channel and you guys. If I look down, look at this exercise. It's high, isn't it? When you look down there, I started to feel a little bit dizzy. I'll show you the. I'll look down quickly. I'll show you all what it looks like from down there. Oh, my, that's quite right. It is rather high. I also got a little bit dizzy now. I don't know why, because she said so, maybe. Look at that. Very impressive. And let's carry on upward. A little bit easier going up than going down, I think, with such steep stairs. Definitely have to hold the railings on the way down. 
Let's see where we end up here now. Big gated area. So another cavern that's closed off, I can see. This is very, very impressive. Wow. Here you, here you probably get a better one. Yeah. But look at the walls. Pigeons flying around everywhere. The depth of this cave, the height of it. Oh, down there below, I did get a little bit tickling feeling. From here, the cave seems to continue, but it's closed off to the public now. Anything to see in there, Mara? I don't think so. As Maro just pointed out, we're right at the top of the cave now. You can really feel the difference in temperature. It's very hot up here. It's going to be more difficult making our way down those steep stairs. Don't forget to hold the railing. And I will definitely film the walk down. Hopefully it will be sturdy. There is some water on the ground, so be careful you don't slip. It will be slippery up here. Just gonna change hands here for the filming of this so it might be a little bit more bumpy than usual. So I want to be holding on to the railing as we make our day way down because this is pretty damn steep. Yeah I can I must take my camera to the other side. Yeah. Hold it. Just hold tight, huh? Yeah. Hold those railings. <laughs> You'll be careful with your big shoes, huh? Yeah. You hear the bats in the background. By the way down as you can see. So those of you with walking disabilities, I don't recommend that you come up here because it is quite difficult to not get up but to get down again I can see. My turn, here we go. I was leading the way, she's building up a sweat there. I've got my rucksack on both shoulders now. I'm gonna hang it off from the one side so that I don't sweat so much. And it covers the entire back, but in this case I better have it on properly. First, first level done. Very steep. The worst part is over now. It's lovely that we went up there. Oh yeah. There we go. I want to show you the depth of the cave again. It really is a wow effect like we say. Very impressive. Well worth a visit. So time to make a downward movement again. Looks like a big group visiting here. And on we go. I think this fellow lying here is the most impressive of all the figures. He's huge. He's looking really relaxed there with his big belly. Organizing photos here. What is the name of this relaxed man? Please also leave the information down in the comment section. There's a little bit of history about it. Is he a guard also? Let us know down below. Ravana's army marches forward to battle with Rama. Entrance, exit, we'll go through that in a moment. And this isn't even the main cave yet. I can just imagine how fascinated children will be coming into this real cave. All these figures in here. Out we go, and move over to the main battle cave now. It was very worthwhile. And back out into daylight. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. It was very nice. Thank you. So here we are again in the main walkway, just in front of the station area. One of the temples up there. 
a mountain behind it. Inside that there are the cabins. We're going to be walking down in that direction. I'm at the bottom, up towards the new colorful stairs of the Batu Caves. Seeing the first monkey, there's one here too. First monkeys over here, running up on the rocks. I was getting a photo of one of them. Look at this little mother kid here. Always fun to see the monkeys, but be careful with them, you don't want to get bitten. We've got some more stalls selling things. We went into that cave last time. I'll put up a video of that at some stage also. We did film it. There was also a music show in there. Big shop here. Tourist shop. And a lot of the buses come here. The tour buses. Group bookings only in there. That's for the cave villa, sorry. And local snacks. You can't see that so well. And there's an abundance of coconuts. And I can smell durian fruit all around us. Almost the main area. A lovely little lake over here on the left. And this is the cave villa section. You do have to pay extra to get in here. Also worthwhile going in. So don't miss it. As you can see this area also has a whole Indian market with all sorts of little snacks to buy. And there we have the very famous main figure up there against the mountain. Look at the colors. That's the entrance in the center of the picture now to the Batu Caves, to the beginning of the steps. I beg your pardon, that actually was not the entrance to the steps. That's a temple in itself. The entrance is just around the corner up ahead. But here is the temple I was referring to. But just before I show you the lovely painted steps just looking behind us from the direction we came and get ready for it look at that beautiful pretty about this pole in front of my shot standing here in front of the temple getting a lovely colorful shot i hope so before we do anything and make our way up to the cave i can say they last time we were here there were no toilets up there be aware of that if you need to freshen up a little bit before Climbing the stairs, do that before. Already a lot of people have arrived here. So expect lots of people, but the stairs look fine. Easy enough to get up, not too much hustle and bustle. They've really done a good job since we were here last time. The stairs weren't painted and this temple on the left wasn't constructed, well, it was constructed, but it hadn't been painted yet. It was still building and painting. Right in the middle of all these pigeons. Look at this. Look at all those pigeons. I should just mention those of you who want to do a Kuala Lumpur helicopter tour. There is also a tour going out here to the Batu Caves. We actually fly over the Batu Caves entrance. You'll see that in a little while when we get up to the caves. There's a big opening at the top where you can actually look up at the sky. And the helicopter comes there. We didn't do that tour. We did a tour of uh, Kuala Lumpur when we were last here. If you want to see that video, I'll leave a link to, to that down in the comment section. I'll pin it down there. And I can just say that it's a very worthwhile helicopter ride. And uh, if you can afford it, we probably think it would be a very good ride out to here too. It's a little bit pricey for our budget, but uh, give it a go. Let us know if you've tried that before. You can see more of the restaurants here. A lot of coconuts. And we're going to go down to that area again in front of the entrance to the caves and make a time lapse or motion lapse. So here we are at the Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur with our Osmo Mobile 2. Maura and I are just about to do, or well, we have already set up a time lapse. We're going to do a 30 minute, what did they call it, a motion time lapse? See, you no, know it's shaking again. Oh, that's the wind, just let it be then. Yeah. We're going to make the time lapse go from left to right in this direction. And once we get to this point here, 
we're gonna move the uh, camera upwards. And hopefully that's gonna turn out nicely. People really enjoy feeding these pigeons and getting photos of them. Every now and again a monkey comes running through at full speed to try and steal the bird food. One pigeon relaxing here by the fence. Not afraid of me and behind him. Big no smoking sign. Big smoking area and some huge durians. There's the sign. And then the people gather around the looks like durians on the ground. Wondering if they're real or not. They look pretty real to me. Now is my mobile tool still very hard at work here? The sun disappeared unfortunately, but hopefully that gives some nice contrast to the to the hyperlapse. Sorry, the the motion lapse. Just starting a second time lapse here on the Osmo Mobile 2. The first one turned out very well, but was unfortunately knocked a little bit by the wind. So you can see little bumps along the way. Nothing to do with the gimbal. It's more to do with the, the tripod. And that's my doing. I didn't secure it well enough. Now let's see how this shot turns out. Be very interested to catch the people going up and down the stairs here and now. So here we go, we just finished the time lapse. We just had a look at it as, as I mentioned before. It was a little bit bumpy because of the wind, but you can see the results anyway now. So, what do you think? It was a little bit windy, wasn't it? It was just fine, wasn't it? I thought it was a little bit windy. We don't want any bumps in our time lapses. But it was on account of the wind, not of the equipment today. It was very windy. Now we're going to climb the stairs. Just packing the rest of our equipment away. Up the stairs we go. We're baking in the sun here. We must have been standing here for, what, 50 minutes for those time lapses? The yeah. first one was 30 minutes and then 20 minutes, some setup time and some pack-up time. So. Yeah, it's going to be nice to get up into the cool cave and see the inside, what they've done there this time. Entrance to the Batu Caves is free of charge, but you will have to cover your knees. I think it applies to both males and females. Maro's got long pants with, as we mentioned earlier on. She's got a, is it called a shawl? Yeah. Shawl, so she doesn't have to use a used sweaty one this time of the day and this heat they'll be pretty used and pretty sweaty it's almost 20 past two now so let's go inside as we enter the entrance area there's a big shop here on the right and scarf for renting but it doesn't matter what it's really good yeah i'm just gonna go look at the prices over here scarf you can rent a scarf for five ringgits okay you get a refund of two ringgits when you bring it back and you can see the rules up there in the back as we begin the walk okay. I'm following you. Smell the incense as we ascend the stairs here. Going up the red zone, changing over to the blue zone next. They are pretty steep, but it's not as bad as people say. If you're sort of in a we're not super fit or training or anything like that, and these days weren't a problem last time. Yeah. Just looking below us again. So we started. You can see a better view of the temple over there. Very colorful, as these Hindu temples always are. And the colors on that one are over there. Looks like a big holy cow looking into the temple. For the falls here.
on that tomorrow. Not too bad walk, is it? No. When I get up there where Mara's standing, I'll show you the view behind us again. And also the big golden statue from behind. And up we go. So where Mara is, and now this year, two levels up above. Very hot day here. <laughs> Today, a lot easier getting down than getting up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the monkey. So we make our way up to the next level. There we go. A bit more shady here. It should be more than halfway, Oren. Yeah. So that nice view. Almost there, as you can see. Change steps. Some more photos from up here. So, this is the entrance to the dark cave over there. We're not going to be visiting that. I've seen it on YouTube, check it out on YouTube with other channels. They've covered it. You don't like all the spiders like creepy crawlers in the dark. I think it's not so much don't like, but you don't get much filming done in there. So let's continue. How are you doing there, Maro? It's not as bad as people say. Fine, but the sweat is pouring out. Definitely sweat. Remember Maro's doing this in long pants. <laughs> nearing our goal here with another beautiful cave entrance. Look at that. Up the last stairs we go. Maro's leading the way. Final left, the blue stairs. Maro did it. He's in the goal. My turn. We did it! Look at that! So here we are, made it to the main entrance of the cave. It's just in front of us here now. Straight ahead, and we get into a huge cave cavern. Quite a lot of water dripping from the, from the roof. Just look at those formations. I think Maro is about to organize a refreshment over here. I really need that also. So we just had a little refreshment. Now we continue down the stairs here into the main cave. And action Maro. This is the part where she walks into the shot entering the cave. Ah, oh, there we go. Thanks, Maro. the main entrance and once again I think it's pretty difficult to show you just how high that ceiling is as we look down into the cavern maybe the size of the people down there gives you sort of an idea of the scale in here it really is quite something you can hear the water dripping down from the walls as Mara just mentioned the legs are like spaghetti after that walk up the stairs. We're heading over in that direction. We gotta climb those stairs and that's the main sort of chamber where you can see the sky from the cave, from the inside of the cave. Of course, as one starts filming, the drilling starts. They're still working on this cavern. This is a working temple, as you can see from the sign. Some scaffolding here in front of the temple. Look at the colors of it. We look up towards another opening up there in the ceiling. That's why it's dripping so much. Plus it's the water seeping through the limestone. 
just looking behind us again towards the entrance. You see the formations of those rocks. There's also a little opening up there. Nice and cool in here compared to outside. What do you say? Yeah. Every time I speak, I just hope every time that any of it is correct. If it's not, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying what I can remember. Look it up on Google for more information. Those of you who want really detailed information, I'm here to enjoy it, to enjoy the view, be amazed. And I'm pretty amazed at the moment at this structure. It's quite something. Well worth a visit. Some more steps to go, Amaro. What's it like wearing long pants in 30 degree heat? I don't want to say that. I don't think our viewers need to know. Final stairs. And up into the chamber, which you can see. It's full of daylight because it's open on the top and it should be quite full of monkeys also. Monkey coming up here. You can actually hear the voices echoing in here. Well, it looks like vertical walls all the way around us. As we come down, there's a temple up here. It's not active today. Last time we were here, there were uh, religious services. People are playing with the monkeys and feeding the pigeons up here also. They were down in the big area in front of the entrance to this Baku cave complex. Some of the very colorful Hindi figures. Another gentleman with a moustache. I'm wondering if this is the same gentleman who was lying in the other cave we asked about, with a big belly. Could be. A little bit the same. Yes. Maro just spotted the monkeys. They're all up there, climbing up the rocks. Quite a mountaineering going on there. North face. North face for sure. One sitting on a rock there. There are the others. There's a climber over there. There we go. Quite a climber. Ooh, he's good. So now we've seen that, let's start making our way downward again. Yeah. My stomach is beginning to growl also. I'm pretty hungry. How about you? Yeah. So there you have it, the battle caves. Just saying that again because this is a better shot than the, the shot I did before where I said it. Here we have the Batu Caves. We're gonna make our way downward again and hopefully have, have a cold drink. Have a cold drink and hopefully be back in the city soon so we can get something to eat. I feel like a Kentucky fried round a Kentucky burger. Okay, we can have that. Sounds good, huh? Yeah. Last view of the temple from here. Big tin there is a donation box. We always give a donation when we visit these temples. Mano is going to do the honor of the donation. So now good deed for the day. Yes. And thank you, Batu Caves authorities or keepers for having us here. We enjoyed ourselves. And 
tomato has just made it. And I'm down too. We did it. That was lovely. So here we are back at the station, Batu Cave station. I'll just show you how to purchase a ticket. platform the train will be leaving from. Now well, I just gotta get us a ticket now. And a quick walk down to the platform and just wait for the train. What are we doing here? I'm very sleepy. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to say thank you to you all for watching this video today but when we're both exhausted we're going to head back to our hotel we're going to go up to the lounge and relax have a good bath also thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave us a comment down below leave us a thumbs up and if you didn't like it please leave us a thumbs up and uh, Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye from me, Maxi. From me, Mara. Bye bye.